to you. Three. Confident. Confidence. Confident. I have a lot of confidence for confident. I think we'll do pretty well. I think we all have that drive now because our coach has pushed us a lot over the past few weeks. So yeah, I think we're gonna kill it because like confidence is key and I have a lot of confidence for our teams this year. I think we're gonna do really good. I like she said, we all have a lot of confidence and we all are working really, really hard this year. I think we're going to be great because we're all putting in a lot more work now. I think that we could possibly take home the trophy, the number one trophy that is. We've really been like working hard and practicing everything, so at least top three would justify all the hard work we've been putting in and it would really make our coach proud as well. Um, we've definitely improved our stunts a lot, our tumbling, and just little things like, like being sharp and together and stuff like that. I've definitely tried to put more hours into the gym and like go harder and more repetitive with all my stunts and my tumbling and everything. I've stretched a lot and I try to be tight as much as I can and just put a smile on my face and use a lot of energy. At home, I do a lot of stretching to work on my jumps because that's like my weakest thing that I think I do bad on, so I just stretch a lot at home. I've been working on my jumps and also working on getting my full twist in because those give us a lot of difficulty points and that's really hard to do. I've, give, I've given a lot of pep talks, <laughs> like to my team, to like make us up feel better and comfortable with each other, and we've all kind of tried to bond. Um, well, we've ran a lot of laps. A lot of laps. Um, we've done a lot of conditioning and a lot of like practicing our stunts and our pyramids and everything, our jumps. Our coach kills us. She makes us run like 10 laps with saying our cheer and like, yeah, we like run 10 laps around saying our cheer. Sometimes it might be even more than 10 laps. We, yeah, we do a lot of conditioning. We work so hard. What pressures me is when we go out and like everybody's looking at me and I don't want to mess up or anything because like it'll like just hurt me if I mess up and it'll make it feel like it's my fault. So what pressures me is um, fatigueness. It's a it's a it's a pretty quick routine, but like it takes it feels so long out there on the mat and it's like it pressures you a lot to like hit everything that you've been working for and just like getting everything done. It's kind of a lot of pressure on like one routine because you know you do it like a lot of times in the gym and it isn't perfect every single time. But when you go out there you have to like hit it this perfect time. Um, we're like a family. <laughs> the, uh, the anxiousness of just like sitting on the floor and just waiting for to hear your name to say that you qualify for state or that you have won first place in your division like that. That's the best part, because it shows that like everything that you've been working for in practice has like, you know, like really like pay off. And it's just it's just sweet, you know what I mean? Um, this year we have a lot of very strong cheerleaders. Very strong, very driven cheerleaders. Um, the unfortunate part about them being very strong and driven is sometimes they don't want to be strong all the time or driven all the time. However, when I can draw that strength and that um, drive out of them, they are able to conquer amazing things. But I love the challenge of having to pull that from them. Ooh, you know, they teach me, they teach me a lot of strange things, um, dance moves that I'm so, oh, unaware of. They're happening. They're happening right now. Um, they teach me dance moves, but they also teach me how to um, stay level and mellow and truthful and honest with them. Um, 
they take really well um, truthful and honest feedback. So it's really easy to have conversations with them and get out of them um, great work when I'm able to be honest and upfront with them. Oh, what do I expect? I expect uh, to bring home the championship. Uh, the past couple of years, Granite City has been on the rise in cheerleading. We've been taking top five spot the last two years. Um, like I said, we've got strength and we've got drive. We should be able to take it this year. So Edwardsville, watch out. We're coming. Like I was talking about before, they really like to be, they, I gotta like drag them to the water. Um, so this year has been a lot of conditioning, a lot of conditioning. They like to be threatened with uh, pain and burpees and running and sprints. Um, so they are really good at um, performing under the pressure of knowing that there will be a consequence related to, you know, not hitting a stunt or not performing the skills that they should be performing. Hardest moments. Um, I, I honestly would have to say that our competition at Waterloo just this past uh, weekend or two ago, um, we went in to that competition a little questionable. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go. They were, this team is unlike teams I've had in the past. I thought they would be able to pull it out. And unfortunately, it didn't come out the way we had hoped. Um, after that competition, we really dug deep. Like I said, we dragged ourselves to be better than we were at Waterloo. And then at Alton, they rocked it. Real or two. You ain't even know. This ain't. This ain't. Hi, Grant and Hi World. Ew, and you're watching. Like it. <laughs> and you're watching Granite City Cheerleaders. Oh, <laughs>